Hi guys, Ronnie here. If you watch me on Strava, then you probably already know that yesterday I've done my first time trial of the season and it went pretty well in some regards and not so well in others. So let's start from the race itself. Pan flat 18k time trial. Uh, quite a rough road, not very technical, just there and back. Uh, the weather on the day it was quite warm, actually it was the first time this year that temperatures were in the 20s and unfortunately the wind was extremely strong uh, around 40 k's per hour constant wind with up to 60 k's per hour gusts so not really the conditions you want for time trolling or any kind of cycling for that matter uh, so that influenced my equipment choice. Uh, of course, I've used the speed concept uh, and the wheel set I chose to use because of the wind. I really wanted to use the two spokes, but because they are quite stable and super fast. But unfortunately, the wind was so strong that I wanted to use the most stable. We, uh, time trial very wheels that I have so that meant uh, using the MV 7.8 front that I normally use on my road bike and I opted to put the head disc for the rear why did I didn't I not use the two spoke at the rear well that's pure vanity to be honest it will look too great with the two spoke on the back and the shallow or mid-depth wheel at the front so yeah that's uh, the only reason for that and the head disc is plenty fast uh, yeah so that was the equipment choice otherwise uh, the gearing was as usual 58 to chaining at the front I also mounted the chain catcher because of the road quality I just wanted to be sure and I was good enough with the 1128 cassette for this event. So, yeah, because of the weather conditions, I wasn't able to go near the course record, which is 2240. But I think on a day with good con conditions, I could have gone well below that. So my final time was 2340, so exactly one minute behind. Uh, thanks to the 40 k's per hour wind uh, and the distribution is also quite bad or the direction should I say because we had tailwind on the way out and then headwind on the way back so that was the point where it really really started hurting and uh, you know when I'm time trolling I have two kinds of days on my good days I can push my selected power I don't really feel any kind of pain, I just go, my heart rate is super high, but uh, I don't feel really feel like I'm suffering and I can push really over the limit at the final two or three, maybe four minutes. Well, this was not one of, the day, one of those days. Uh, this was a day when I struggled to keep up with my preferred power and I was really, really hurting from the beginning so yeah it was it was just suffering and the power really wasn't all that high you know it i've averaged 300 watts that was partly because of the strong wind it was just blowing me around then i had a lots of slower riders to overtake uh and also i had to be really careful about uh not hitting the potholes and the nasty stuff on the road so yeah I wasn't feeling too great and I couldn't really put down too much power so it was 301 I think average uh, at the end so not brilliant by any means but then again I had one more thought in the evening because you know when I was warming up I, I was offset or zero reset the power meter and back then it was just around 13 or 14 degrees but when I actually went to the start line it was over 20 so maybe I should have done one more offset because 
But to be honest, uh, it doesn't really feel like 300 watts would be enough for that kind of speed and uh, that kind of competition in a completely flat time trial. So yeah, maybe it was a user error as well and maybe my watts wasn't, wasn't weren't too bad after all because if you think about it then uh, on my training or in my training, sorry, I can hold 250 average for three hours and that doesn't really correspond with uh, holding just 300 for 20 minutes so never mind that uh, the result is what's important and I'm satisfied with that because I've won I've won my category and I won the overall as well got the jersey which is size large so Presumably they thought that someone bigger uh, would win this kind of event, but I had to disappoint them this year uh, So yeah uh, Overall, I'm quite happy the next time trial will be very hilly and technical So I think if I was able to win uh, this time trial completely flat uh, Not feeling really well, then I have pretty good chances on, on the next one of course, equipment choice will be a bit trickier there, but we'll see. I have to think about that a bit more. Uh, yeah, on a side note, uh, on this event I wasn't uh, racing alone. I had one of my friends and customers with me. He's a triathlete a priori, but he wanted to do some time trials, so he's doing this one and the second one with me. And congratulations to him because he finished second in his category, so over 40 years, and he came fifth overall, so heads up, heads off to him. Okay, if you'd like to see more about uh, the bike setup itself, what I use for time trialing, then don't forget to check out my other videos on this topic. And if you'd like to see the next weekend's race report, then of course subscribe to the channel. Uh, and then I'll keep you updated. I think that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.